Hello and welcome back to Ravenwood Acres. Got a fairly short lower mesh communications video for you today. We are finishing up an upgrade to our T Echo. It is going to require a 3D printer or for you to purchase this off of like someplace like Etsy. I do have a 3D printer and unfortunately I cannot sell these to you because um, they, there's, they're patented basically or you know, copyrighted. So I can print it and use it for myself. That's, that's about it. So this case is going to go on the back. I won't need any additional hardware. The hardware that comes with the original backing uh, will work with this setup. Uh, this is the old 800 milliamp hour battery that comes with the T-Echo. This is a 1100 milliamp hour with the J1 or yeah JST 1.25 connector. I will put a link that is a Rockland Technologies affiliate link down below. You can get it anywhere you like but that will get you at least to make sure you're getting the right one because there's two different styles of connectors. So with this printed, we're going to go ahead and install the connector, which I'm going to do off camera because it's hard to do both because it is a little bugger. And boom, we got we got lights in there. Um, I'm going to put it in like this. Probably use some 3M tape here, double-sided tape, to make it to where it doesn't rattle around. Let me pause you here and we'll... Okay, so got some tape, just the double-sided sticky tape, doesn't really matter the brand. Uh, this is kind of old, I should probably get some new stuff. I'm noticing that it's adhesive features are not as good as they used to be. I'm going to go ahead and put it up, up into this area right here, if you see, and then I'll make that... Oh, it's going to have to go kind of at an angle. Let's look at how that works. We'll do a quick fit check here and see if that's going to work. It works. Still got power. And, of course, we're just going to install these little machine screws back down in there. You're going to need a smaller, like, jeweler-style screwed Phillips screw driver. This is a 00, zero if you're interested in size. I think of the... Um, the zero will also work. Uh, it's not like you're doing a high torque or anything here. Um, and just like that, it is now upgraded. I would like to add some sort of clip to the back. I'm trying to find something that's sufficient. Uh, you do lose the little diagrams back here that tell you what everything does. Hey, quick note you're going to have your phone when you're using this anyway snap a photo of that save it in your uh, folders this is going to go i'm going to end up using this on a actually this won't work because it's the the wrong size connector i could convert it but i have a 500 milliamp battery coming in it's even smaller for another project you guys will see probably this week or next week we'll see um just a sneak peek that's a um rack whiz block there but this is we're going to be we're going to be testing our airborne relay airborne repeater a little bit further a little more testing uh, to see what we can come up with and how effective we can employ something like that in a field environment all right well if you have any questions comments uh put them down below remember the the links for that stuff will be in the or in the uh, about section down below you can follow us at theravenwoodacres.com. That's our website. Check us out at our affiliate or our follow us along at our social media pages, which are also linked below. Uh, stay tuned for more and have a great day.